Welcome back. This segment of the Sports Source brought to you by Daniel Hood Roofing. When folks on this show have needed a roof, well, we've turned to Daniel Hood Roofing. That should tell you who we trust. And check out their webpage for dozens upon dozens of testimonials from your neighbors talking about the roofs they got from Daniel Hood Roofing. Call Daniel Hood Roofing today. They'll answer your phone or call them tomorrow. Call them the next day. They're always there. DanielHoodRoofing.com. All right, the SEC basketball tournament is locked into Nashville until 2035. It's turned into a great entertainment destination. Great, great arena. Makes sense. The SEC championship game in football has been in Atlanta, aside from the first two years, for the last 30 years, basically. Their contract runs through 2027. There's no sign it could move. However... Take a look at this map, if you would. Westward Ho. There are little blue dots on there that show you where they've added College Station, Austin, Norman, Oklahoma, Columbia, Missouri. It is a different league now. So Atlanta and Nashville getting all these championship games should the SEC spread it around a little bit. And I played with a little something here. Let's take a look at this graphic. What if you had a three-city rotation for football? All are kind of centrally located, but you got New Orleans, who wouldn't want to go to New Orleans? Nashville wants to get their new dome. And Atlanta. Okay, those are all nice hubs in terms of airlines, easy to get to, good facilities, whatever. SEC basketball, what if you're just trying to give one to the teams in the east and you give one to the teams in the west? Put one in Dallas, Jerry World, or where the Mavericks play. Keep it one in Nashville. And then the next year, put it in Charlotte. That's where the SEC network is based. And sooner or later, North Carolina and Clemson will be in this league too. So just put it in Charlotte and rub it in the ACC's face because they don't put their tournament there all the time. So what would you think of rotating? It doesn't have to be those. I'm just saying, should they rotate or should they keep it Atlanta and Nashville? As is, stop thinking about the teams out west, John. Heck with them. Rotate. You, rotate, Jimmy says. I would rotate them. And, and what you've selected – the one I was thinking about, like if, if you're doing it in football, you need to be at an NFL stadium, right? Yeah. And so you've got them. If you were to add one, I know Dallas is a long way, but it's a pretty good stadium. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I think they should rotate them. But it just seems if you're at well, Texas and Oklahoma, and you're going to be all for this, New Orleans. That's, that's, the, that's oh. the answer. I mean, and to me it's so obvious that I don't, I don't see how you don't do it. You, your champion used to go there every year for the Sugar Bowl anyway. Mm -hmm. That's the one I would dump the rotation and just put it in New Orleans. <laughs> the SEC title game is in New Orleans every year. And if you wanted to do that, then okay. But I, rotate or no? I'll rotate. I, I think rotating, it's better for the fans. But remember, they got into the rotating even SEC media days. Now, that's not yeah. – who cares about that? There's a reason to rotate the championship game, though. It's also a huge advantage competitively for, to me, Georgia and Auburn, teams like that. To being right down the road from Atlanta, their fans travel in swarms when they go to that game. You don't want it to be a long haul for Texas A&M the first time they go and fans not travel in as big a number. So spread it out, give it everybody a chance, and you've got lots of good venues to use in that footprint. Now. And I, I would go more football with rotation because you're dealing with more fans yep. than basketball. Yeah, rotate um, on that team, and then I would add Dallas into the football rotation. Yep. You're, you're thinking as big as it gets with football? Yeah. Well. About as big as it gets right is Jerry's World. So you have Atlanta, which is huge. Nashville is going to be exciting with its new stadium, as you have on the list. But Dallas will always be that. Yeah, you've got in turn, you got Tampa, you got Orlando. Uh, interestingly, a perfect central location if it weren't number two in the nation in crime is Memphis. It would be great for basketball. You've got an NBA arena. Mm -hmm. Uh, Oklahoma City has an NBA arena. Mm -hmm. You've got some other places, but I, those bigger cities that are big airline hubs, easy to get to, mm -hmm. and entertainment centers like New Orleans and Nashville, uh, that, you've got a reason to rotate. I would rotate, personally. Yeah, I think Oklahoma City's interesting. It's a good basketball town, the way they've rallied it's, around their, their NBA team, see, and, and now it's an SEC place. Good why, stakes, Why not rotate just to see how it goes? Yeah. And if it goes well, stick with it. Uh, yeah, sorry, Nashville. Tear up those contracts. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, and I'm okay with there being one main. Like, if Atlanta has it three out of five years, that's okay. But just spread it around some. Yeah. Yeah, and let Nashville be your yeah. main hub for basketball. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. When we come back, four questions on Tennessee football. We're going to break down a lot of different topics. Everybody gets their own question. That's next. Coming back on the Sports Source. Miss an episode? Catch up at sportsource.tv or our YouTube channel. 